Hi guys, welcome back to another one. We're back nine days later since I last posted. I do apologize. I've been very unwell lately. I've also been busy. My house is being painted um, by the housing company and all that stuff. So, you know, I've just been very like busy lately. But today we're going to be talking about the best settings that you can get out of Tarkov as for now for saying streets is that I'll be giving two settings my own personal settings that I'm currently in the middle of working out but I'm actually quite liking and also settings for increased performance as much as possible especially when I do start playing the streets map which I've only been on it once I just won't go on it because of obviously it being optimized but we're back we're bright we're early it's seven o'clock in the morning let's get into it so we're going to have a look at one of the first programs that I use, which is called Process Lasso. You've probably heard of it, you probably haven't. Basically what it does, it monitors everything that obviously runs on the system. Anything that runs at 100% CPU load, it will basically knock it down and stuff like that. It basically just monitors the PC, just keeps everything running at an optimal level. Now, the reason why I use this is for one purpose and one purpose only. It's so I can disable hyper-threading for my CPU when it comes to Escape from Tarkov. As you can see, the Tarkov to XE exe is here if i right click on this and go to uh cpu affinity and then go on to always you can see that only some cores are selected basically if you click none this is how tarkov will run uh normally because inside of the game settings where it says only use physical cores doesn't seem to work on tarkov sometimes it does for some people it does for some people it doesn't it's just not optimized well so i just disable hyper threading and it's just it gets it done there and then it forces it to do that and it also keeps the priority to high as well so it always runs at the maximum performance it can this is the first program that i use i will leave the link in the description for both of these don't worry the virus free you can support them or you can use it for free i would recommend buying the pro license i think it's like four like 99 a month or something like that but yeah it's definitely something that i would recommend but it's a it's definitely a good program to use the other program that I like to use as well is also Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Basically what it does is your CPU and your memory will obviously do its work and run the PC and this, that and the other. And then it'll start putting bits of information into a standby list just in case it needs it again so it can easily just pull it back up. Basically what this program does, it removes it. Now you will need to obviously look at a video, um, someone talking about this program in depth. Yeah, this is basically the settings that I use is 2048 16384. I have obviously these two ones, so obviously the start with my PC stats and current time and resolution is 0 0.5 it basically just makes it so everything runs at a 0 0.5 millisecond speed so it's as quick as possible so i'll leave that i'll leave both of the links to these program in the description don't worry the virus free 100 percent protected it's absolutely fine never had a problem with them many streamers use them and so do i now let's get into the main topic of this video which is settings first i will go on a talk about my settings that i personally use and then what i would recommend for anybody that wants to play street slide house and basically just get the maximum performance that you can out of tarkov it's just this game is a very cpu and memory intensive game your gpu doesn't really matter that much it's mainly your cpu and you like your memory that really matters so for the game it's all personal preference but they use only physical cores i also have it on in the game as well it doesn't do anything but i just have it on anyway fov is personal preference and obviously you want to keep malfunction notifications to on graphics these are the graphics settings that i'm using right now i'm liking them because i can see players easy especially in bushes um i have my texture quality to high my shadow quality to low i did have this on high but i dropped it down to low because the shadows were just a little bit overwhelming especially when it started getting a bit night time because obviously i just pick a day and a pick a day or a pick a time and i'm just i'm in a raid i just want to get the test done as quick as i can uh object lod quality 2.5 the reason for it is is because when it's at four Basically what happens is, is the trees from a distance look pixelated. They basically look like Minecraft trees. And when they're just a sheet of a tree, people can hide behind that tree and they can basically wiggle to obviously see you in this, that and the other. And if it's like that, you're not going to see them. So that's a disadvantage from having it at four. But we'll get into that obviously when I get into the, the more optimized settings. Um, and also you can see players at a longer distance as well. Overall visibility, I have 1005. 
anti-aliasing and TAA high and then I have everything off until I get to HBAO and SSR. I have that on high. I have the anisotropic filter into per texture and I have NVIDIA reflex low latency to be on and I run full screen or borderless depending what I'm doing. For my pulse effect settings, these are the settings that I use, which I find I see players a lot easier with these settings, which is really, really nice. And I also sharpen in the NVIDIA control panel settings. Um, that's basically all I really do to the NVIDIA control panel. I don't have digital vibrance or nothing. I just basically sharpen through it. And for my NVIDIA control panel settings, this is what obviously I use. So my, the only thing I use on the global tab is I have my shader cache size to be 10 gig and I have my image scaling to on. This basically is just for sharpening. It's not for scaling. I'm not lowering my resolution to upper resolution. I'm just straight. It's just straight for sharpening. When it comes to the program settings, which is Escape from Dark, if you don't know how to add it, you click add and then you'll be able to find it here. Whatever you've like previously run, it should pop up here. If not, then you can just click um, add and then click add selected program and go to the directory. And basically these are the settings. I won't go through them, but what I'll do is I'll just scroll down just so you can see them and compose a video. So you see the settings all the way down to CUDA calls. We'll put the CUDA at the top so you can see all the settings from below. And then the settings from preferred refresh rate all the way down to the bottom. And that is basically what I use. Now I'm going to talk about the settings that I would recommend for anybody with a lower end CPU or a lower end GPU. I would recommend to have medium on your textures. I would recommend low or medium to your shadows. For your object LOD and your overall visibility, I'd crank them all the way down to the left. I'd put them at 2 and at 400. This will give you the best performance as possible. Uh, for NTAA lasing, I'd recommend FXAA or TAA. I wouldn't recommend, uh, recommend turning it off. It just will just look stupid. And then after, obviously, resample, off, 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 uh, FSR, off, HBAO, off. SSR off, anisotropic filtering off, and NVIDIA reflex low latency, I would definitely turn that off. For the sharpness, that's personal preference, like I said, obviously I do it through the control panel, so I just turn that to 1, and all the stuff at the bottom, I would definitely make sure to keep off. But basically, that's all I can really say about the graphic settings, because currently right now, Tarkov is having an issue where it's struggling with frame time that's why when you're getting high frame rate or you're getting like 70 to 80 frames but it feels like you're running at 20 30 it's not anything to do with your system personally your system's absolutely fine you could go in any other game and never have an issue it's just with tarkov's like graphics engine it's just the frame time is just so like bad on it it's ridiculous it's getting worse the more updates happen and i think it might be because they're not updating the engine i don't know too much about it but i would assume that would be the reason but basically that's what i would recommend for low settings if you've got the same system as me and you don't stream and record at the same time i would recommend obviously the settings that i'm using right now if you do use obs and you do stream at the same time i would probably recommend for you to have a good experience is to in your obs settings make sure everything that you can have hardware acceleration use it if you are recording make sure you use your graphics card for the recording not your cpu so make sure you choose mvanc and basically that's what I would recommend. And when obviously the new tab where it says um, advanced or simple, I would probably recommend keeping it on simple. So with all that out of the way, like I said, Tarkov's graphic engine right now is really bad. It may seem like you're getting lower FPS than you're actually getting. It's something we just all have to deal with. Everybody is having a problem with this right now. Last patch, 12.12, it was just happening on a lighthouse. Now, for some reason, it's deciding to happen on all maps, which is kind of funny. It's like interchange, the top windows, the top big windows, where everybody snipes from. If you walk near there, your frame rate will just plummet. It's weird, but as soon as you leave that area, your frame rate's back to normal. It's just... Tarkov right now is in a weird state, and it's in a very bad state right now, especially when it comes to the graphics, but there's nothing we can do about it. It's obviously BSG. They have to look into it and fix it. Probably never will but it is what it is. So if you've enjoyed this video and I've been straight to the point, then don't forget to 
and you want to see more from myself then don't forget to subscribe at the bell notification so you'll be notified to help this video get to around as many people as possible please if you do not want to subscribe but you do want to support me then don't forget to hit the like button the last time we did a video we gained uh, quite a few subscribers we gained 80 subscribers in a month and i'm proud of everybody that wants to support me as a content creator i do appreciate it i do appreciate all the comments that i've had as well if i have missed any of you and you're watching this video right now i do apologize if you have any questions to ask don't forget to obviously write in the comment section below let me know your thoughts this that, and the other how it could improve you know blah 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 if you do want to see me live on twitch then don't forget to drop a follow over there as well and um, if you've got any questions to ask or you've got anything to ask about process lasso or the um islc um and this that and the other you know i'll be live over at twitch so you'll be able to obviously ask me some questions over there and basically yeah i'm just trying to help you guys as much as possible sorry that i've not been uploading lately i've just been really busy with the house being painted and this that and the other because like i said in my previous couple of videos i said that you know my house was being renovated by the council this that and the other obviously that's underway they're now painting the house so that's nearly done so i should be back to making like content every couple of days to every day stuff like that i also will be doing some raid um content as well where basically i just if i have a good raid i'll whack it onto youtube you'll be able to see hopefully you guys like that and stuff like that i just don't want to obviously just dedicate to tutorials and guides and stuff like that i just want to obviously post my obviously my good times which i do have a video that you might like but i just want to post like my good times and stuff like that so if you have enjoyed and you do want to see all of that then don't forget to subscribe got any questions comment got any questions why i'm live over at twitch links will be in the description for everything and uh thank you very much for all of your support and i'll see you guys in the next one